What's up, ballers? Jacob here with All Drive No Drop, and I'm talking about the Holbrook Mav Pro 2.0 today. I haven't really talked about any paddles under 100 lately, so I figured, hey, let's find something good that we can have for under 100, and this fits the bill. It is super lightweight, 7.7 .7 ounces on mine. It's elongated, so I figure this fits the bill for a lot of people looking for a paddle under 100, and we do have a giveaway, so stick around for that. If you wanna save yourself some time, just go and smash the subscribe now, because it's part of the giveaway rules. Anyway, Holbrook, haven't tried uh, anything from their line. Looks super sleek. This paddle is super gritty, so you spin monsters, you're gonna like this one. And let's just jump into the specs. We'll tell you a little bit about this paddle and then we'll dive into the gameplay and get my thoughts on if this is the right paddle for you for under 100. Okay, so the Mav Pro 2.0 is an elongated shape. It's got the uh, T700 carbon fiber facing. It is a standard elongated dimension, 16.5 by 7.5, 16 millimeter core. Mine came in at 7.7 .7 ounces. They do have a range of 7.7 to 8.0. Handle length of 5.6 inches. Plenty of room for two-handed backhands. Grip circumference of 4.25 inches. Mine has a swing weight of 115, which is very good for an elongated paddle and a twist weight of 6.03. A little bit below average probably for an elongated, but uh, not too much problem for twisting with me and plenty of room to add a little bit of weight and not bring that swing weight up too much and uh, stabilize that twist weight a little bit higher. So what do I actually think about the performance of the Mav Pro 2.0 on the court? You're not getting the extreme power and pop that you get from a thermoform paddle because this one is not thermoform, but that means you're not getting that stiffer feeling as well. You're getting a little bit more connection to the ball. You feel the ball and the paddle face a little bit better. In my opinion, you get more control. So I think the people looking for a solid premium paddle under a hundred and they want something that's all court more control leaning this is going to be a good paddle for them still get decent power for a non-thermal form paddle you just don't get that extreme pop you can still generate good pop with your hand speed but the paddle is not going to do it for you sweet spot is still pretty good a little bit lower than some of the thermal form paddles a little bit smaller than some of the thermoform paddles, but still really solid. I felt a slight twisting under extreme. There was a little bit twisting on some of the harder, heavier shots that I was blocking and resetting, but not too bad. This can be really solidified. I tried it with lead tape on four and eight o'clock right on those bottom corners, three grams on each side. And this really made the paddle perform a lot better. This paddle is super gritty. It gets really great spin. Had great success with my drives and my drops and my drips, which is that hybrid drop drive combo. You know, when it's not thermal formed, I feel like you actually do get a lot better touch on the ball. So any of those soft shots, those dinks and those, you know, those drops, I felt like it was a lot easier to control. And anytime I use some of these non thermal form paddles, I'm like, wow, is this, should I be doing this? Or am I just too much in love with the power? But I don't know. So a great lightweight option for people looking for that premium experience under $100 and you don't like that stiffer feeling of the thermoform paddles. Great control all around, especially when you add that lead tape to the four and eight o'clock corners and just great maneuverability with that lower swing weight when it comes in at that lower static weight. So if that's what you're looking for, then it performs really well in that area. Uh, really felt great on my my rolls at the net, both backhand and forehand rolls, keeping those people back with those on the fourth shot because of that extra whip you could get. With that 5.6 inch handle, it felt really good on my two handed backhands and it just lets you generate more power on your own. So if you're looking for more of a power paddle under 100, this isn't going to be it. But if you're looking for something that's, you know, an all core leaning control paddle, uh, just with the touch and adding weight to the paddle, then this is going to be a great option for you. Do I recommend the Holbrook Mav Pro 2.0? Yes, yes, yes. I do. For under 100, this performs extremely well. I like the design. A lot of people like, you know, their, I don't know what you call it, like a modernistic, sleek look. It, I, you know, it's not something popping out, but it's, it's smooth. I like it. So if you're looking for a good elongated paddle that's on the lower weight range of paddles, under 100, 
This is it, super gritty. I know people love that. I didn't stick it to my shirt. I'm not doing the shirt test. You want me to do the shirt test? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so if you're looking for a, a good option under 100 that's an elongated paddle, that's keeping the weight lower, Holbrook Math Pro 2.0, great option to check out. So. If you want to enter the giveaway, just follow the instructions on the screen. Appreciate all the support. Drop a comment on the Math Pro 2.0 if you've tried it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And then please, you know, let, let me know if any questions, if you guys have any other ideas or questions that you want answered, let me know. And please subscribe, help grow the channel. Let your friends know, let your mom know, let your dad know, let your brother and sister know. I love it. And as always, please go play some pickleball and have fun. 